Now at five, students returned to Miami Killian Senior High School today while a classmate faced a judge charged with stabbing another student on campus. And tonight, that injured football player remains in the hospital as we learn more about the teen who has been accused. CBS 4's Aralia Ortega live at Nicholas Children's Hospital in Southwest Miami-Dade with the day's developments. Aralia. Rick, DeAndre Johnson continues to recover here. The family's attorney told us that they are solely focused right now on his recovery, but they also want answers from the school as to how something like this could have happened. Meantime, the suspect in the case is expected to remain locked up for the time being. The suspect in a stabbing that sent a Killian High School 10th grader to the hospital and the school into panic mode, going before a judge in juvenile court, her mother by her side. <laughs> This cell phone video appears to show 17-year-old Brianna Roll after the violent incident inside the school's cafeteria yesterday as security guards tried to calm her down. During today's hearing, the public defender in the case asking the judge to release the 12th grader from secure detention and instead place her under house arrest with an electronic ankle bracelet. She's not a flight risk by any means. But the judge deciding to keep Roll locked up for the next 21 days as the state decides how they will proceed with her case. If they're going to be filing charges and where they're going to be filing them, if it's going to be here in juvenile court or in adult court. Speaking after the hearing, Roll's family attorney says he's looking into allegations. Roll was being bullied at Killian High School, which only added to the trauma she allegedly suffered at her former school, Keysgate Charter High School. There were allegations that uh, she was raped by two football players at her previous school. Um, and there's some ongoing legal matters with regard to that. DeAndre Johnson, meantime, continues to recover at Nicholas Children's Hospital. The teen's family hiring an attorney who says they want answers from the school. He had to have his entire chest cut open from his neck to his stomach because somebody dropped the ball in allowing this to happen. The school says they were not aware of the alleged assault that happened at the suspect's former school or any other issues. They're supposed to let us know uh, what happens uh, at that school when the transfer uh, happens. Uh, they're supposed to report that. We did not have that information, so obviously we're not able to uh, act accordingly. In regards to the allegations being made by this former student against them, and a spokesperson sent me the following email, quote, there is no evidence to support the allegations made against Keyskate Charter High School. That is all I can say about the situation, end quote. Reporting live in Southwest Miami-Dade, Oralia Ortega, CBS 4 News.